So let's put it all together. At the same time, the key portfolio managers are pessimistic. We have an optimistic moment in Ukraine, where while the consumer is still spending, as demonstrated by positive airline numbers, and the enterprise is still spending, as demonstrated by Marvell's comments on our show last night. Immediately, I heard that the whole rally was just short covering, could be dismissed. We could go right back down tomorrow if the Fed says the wrong thing. There's some truth to that. This market's about as fragile as any I've seen in years. There are so many charters and fundamentals who've lost hope given high inflation, slow growth, less accommodated Federal Reserve. You know the particulars. As soon as stocks are overbought, if we even get there, I think that we could easily have a rinse and repeat situation. What matters to me, though, we're constantly being reminded that this market goes down, not in a stair-step fashion, but in a couple of days decline, followed by a spike, either from short covering ahead of an important issue like the Fed unemployment data, and then a resumption of the decline. I think this spike is still a good chance to reposition weaker portfolios. But the bottom line, sessions like this one are also a reminder that when things look really horrible and we've been down for days and days and days, you don't need to despair. You just need to be more clever, raise some cash on the up move, and steer yourself for the next decline if either oil prices or the Russian army advance to places where we really don't want them to go. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.